Probably the most important part of why going solar in the United States is profitable is the investment tax credit or simply solar tax credit. This incentive is available to everyone and lets you cut the costs of your solar system by a third. Lately, experts fear for its future though. Why? My name is Tanya and in this video we'll talk about what solar tax credit is, how you can get the most out of it and why it is under threat. So, what is an investment tax credit or ITC in a nutshell? It's a tax program, which means it lets you take a share of a solar system costs and deduct it from your income tax. Pretty awesome, right? It was introduced in 2005 and experts say it is the main reason why solar has become so popular in the United States. Since its inaction, the American solar capacity has grown at least by 10,000% and the solar industry altogether created over 250,000 jobs. How much does it give you? Solar tax credit lets you deduct 30% of the solar system cost from your taxes. The tax credit counts as a dollar per dollar reduction of your income tax. For example, if the solar system you installed costs $20,000, you can claim a $6,000 tax credit, which would reduce your income taxes by $6,000. If the credit is more than you owe in taxes, the remaining credit can be carried over to the next years. The tax credit is non-refundable, which means it can reduce your tax bill to zero, but you won't get a refund beyond that. The 30% credit is available until 2032 and then it will decrease to 26% in 2033 and 22% in 2034 before expiring. That is if things stay the same to which I will come back later. The 2022 Inflation Reduction Act from Biden administration also added a 10% bonus to this credit if the panel's manufacturer is an American company. At least 40% of the total steel, iron and manufactured components have to be produced in the United States. If your solar system qualifies, you can get up to a 40% total federal tax credit on your installation costs. Are there American-made solar panels? Yes. Mission Solar, for example, is eligible for a bonus from IRA. They've got a facility in Austin, Texas. Another example would be Silfab, a Canadian company that has a facility in Washington. Many foreign brands such as Qcells have manufacturing facilities in the United States or want to launch one to avoid import tariffs. Overall, this enhanced credit helps make US-made solar more cost-competitive with imported options. However, to get it, your installer should be able to provide documentation proving the equipment meets domestic content requirements. The 30% credit is valid for all the panels on the market. Solar tax credit takes into account not only the cost of panels, but the inverters, controllers and wiring as well. Batteries were originally excluded, but after the Inflation Reduction Act, you can claim 30% tax credit for lithium-ion storage as well. But there is more. ITC applies to expenses beyond just the equipment. The cost of a solar system includes shipping costs, consulting, installer, electrician and engineer fees, permitting fees and service costs, equipment and tools bought or rented, plus wiring, screws, bolts, nails and so on. Keep all receipts and documentation in case the IRS decides to check your case. To claim solar tax credit, you must own the system. You can even claim the credit if the system is financed, but you have to be the owner. One of our viewers asked if he could claim a tax credit for a system on a house that was bought by a previous owner on a loan that hasn't been paid out yet. In this situation, you would have to check if the last owner has already claimed solar tax credit uh, for himself, which he probably did. You can only claim ITC once per system. Leased systems or power purchase agreements are not eligible. Some wonder if they can claim ITC for a solar system on a trailer. 
Yes. Properties like RVs and boats may qualify if you write them down as a second residence. The clean energy credit isn't just for solar panels. Homeowners can also use it for other energy efficiency projects, such as solar water heaters, small wind turbines, stoves on biomass fuel, fuel cells, and geothermal heat pumps. By the way, IDC is the biggest solar program in the United States, but it's not the only one. The solar tax credit is cumulative with other incentives on a federal and local level. A few states even offer their own tax credits, which can lower the final cost of a system even further. You can read about them in our magazine, to which I will leave a link in the description. Now, when can you actually claim ITC and for which year? The solar tax credit is claimed for the tax year when the installation was placed in service, meaning when the system was completely installed and ready to generate electricity. The law is a bit vague on this matter, but there seems to be a consensus that you don't have to wait for the green light or permission to operate from your utility to consider your system installed. If your system was installed before December the 31st, 2025, you can claim it on your 2025 tax return. If you file your 2025 taxes without claiming the credit, you can file an amended return, which is Form 1040X you generally have up to three years to amend a return. If your system was installed in early 2025, before the tax filing deadline, but in the new tax year, you would claim it on your 2025 tax return when you file it in 2026. Now all this only matters if things stay as they are. Why did I say at the beginning of the video that the solar tax credit is under threat? Well, this is the feeling that industry experts got after Donald Trump got re-elected as the president and promised to pull investments from green energy to put them into oil and gas. If you want to learn more about the relationship between Trump and solar, I suggest that you check out the video on our channel. But in short, Trump wants to use unspent funds from the Inflation Reduction Act, which was the biggest investment in green energy made by Biden administration. And to do this, Trump's team might try to reduce or even void these green energy tax credits already available to Americans. What is there to do? Well, nothing major happened yet. But the only advice I can give you is to don't wait to go solar. The solar tax credit probably won't just disappear overnight, but the government may very well decide to reduce its amount. If anything, Trump can just cancel the credit altogether, and in this case, I'm afraid this video would be good for nothing. Besides that, the terms that electric companies offer to solar owners are better than they probably will be. And with the trade taxation that is going on, the panels probably won't get any cheaper than they are right now. So what do you do if you installed a solar system last year? If you're working with an installer company, they generally make it easy for you and do most of the paperwork. Sometimes it is up to you though. What you need to do is to fill out forms 5695 and 1040 and submit them along with your tax report. When adding the domestic content bonus, you will need to provide documentation proving US manufacturing. The income tax filing deadline is on April the 15th, National Tax Day. If tax forms confuse and frighten you, which is totally understandable, we've got a whole video on how to fill out forms for solar tax credit. And I suggest you go check it out. That's it from me on this one. Please come check out our magazine, our store and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.